is a fishing trip and what does it look like to share about Alia in Jewish communities? This is Alia News. After a 17-hour journey, Johannes was able to join our team in Ukraine on a special trip to visit Jewish communities in the Far East regions of Kharkiv, Poltava and Sumy. I'm here in front of the synagogue and Jewish center in uh, Sumy. And we just met the responsible leader. And now we go visit the Jewish family and bring some food parcel and speak with them. So we are buying here 450 food parcels. Wow, already seven trolleys full with food, which we will buy distribute to the Jewish community. So we have to pack it then in parcels and bring it to the people. We have a Tonya, our local Ivanisa representative, and we will unpack it. In the next days, she will distribute to different Jewish families. <laughs> Just uh, visited a family in this house here and now we are looking to go to the next family. Throughout the trip, the team had the opportunity to meet with Jewish people in the streets and in their homes, giving out food parcels and sharing about Alia with them. These trips are known as fishing trips. Okay, here we visited a family where a missile came down, like in front of the house, you can still see a lot of uh, windows are broken. They live on the 10th floor and uh, here is even a car. Maybe this window is also broken. Here we see the war results. You see it, uh, it's really destroyed building. Here it's the fourth time now already it's alarm. But uh, we go visit the people, uh, bringing food. Here is a lady already waiting for us. After being invited into their homes and handing out gifts and clothes, our team talk about God's promises to bring his people home to Israel. We are here to tell you that it's time to go back to Israel. We understand that men are not allowed to leave Ukraine, but we want to call you to come back to Israel when the time is open for men to leave. We can support you financially to help you with food and passports and also provide advice concerning your documents. First and foremost, we want to tell you that it is God's will that you return to Israel. Almighty God said that he will bring all of his people back and he will leave none of them behind. So we represent the Ebenezer organization. Many Jews have already gone to Israel with Ebenezer's support. So we're here to tell you that we can organize the same support for you. Yanya also helps the families by looking at their documentation to determine what the next steps are. His mother and Mother father are, are Jewish both. Uh, 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 his grandfather's uh, uncle was a rabbi. By the end of these times together, some families have already made the decision to apply for Alia, and it is a great privilege to be a part of their journey returning to Israel. Being able to connect with so many families is only possible because of the meaningful partnership with Jewish leaders and organizations throughout the region. So we are here at uh, Chesed in Poltava. I'm here with Victoria in Chesed uh, in Kharkiv. My name is Elizaveta. I'm head of Jewish community in Sumer and director of Chesed Chaim. 
And so when the war started, how did it affect uh, the community here? Some people leave Ukraine and leave Sume and uh, they live now in Israel or in Poland or in other countries in Europe. But some of them uh, live in Ukraine in other cities. Many of them returned to Sume some months ago. So what is the main reason why people would not go to Israel? I don't know. Many of them love our town. Many of them love our community. Since how many years do you work with Ebenezer? More than 20 years. Many of our uh, members of community go to Israel with the help. And many of them received passports and documents. We are very glad to cooperate with Ebenezer. Oh, thank you very much. In Poltava, also say very thankful for all the help we are bringing here. It's a great privilege where we can work together, where we can help the Jewish people. In Kharkiv, about 1,500 from this community left already, but there's still thousands here who need help and provision who for various reasons cannot leave. So it's great to see our team uh, having a good uh, fellowship here with a local Jewish community. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> These fishing trips provide a special opportunity for our teams to share the scriptural and legal right that Jewish people have to make Aliyah. Some families are not aware that this opportunity exists for them, and it is a great privilege to work closely with Jewish organizations who share the same heart to bring the Jewish people back home in accordance with God's word in Jeremiah 16. I will bring them back into their land, which I gave to their fathers. Behold, I will send for many fishermen, says the Lord, and they shall fish them. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe to the Ebenezer Operation Exodus YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest reports of Worldwide Aliyah.